If you're new to Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi, and you have a mahjong set at home, practice making decisions about which yaku you can use when you get your drawn tiles. I call these random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, specifically Richi, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. We'll do six random pulls in under 15 minutes if I can, and then we'll alternate between east and south. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in, because when you're playing the game, your seat changes and you can leverage that information to get score. So let's just say in this situation, we're going to be in seat four. So I'll just put up a four to remind us what seat we're in and it's south round. Seat four, south round, first random pull. And Dora is eat soup with nuts, eat soup with west. So Dora is west. The progression of Dora with winds is east, south, west, north. And you can remember that by saying to yourself, eat soup with nuts. I would never say that out loud. They might laugh at you. So say eat soup with nuts. So west is Dora. As non-dealer, we get 13 tiles to start. So let's see what we can do with these tiles here. I see a lot of green. I think, oh, there's a pair of nines. And Akadora. I think I would try Pinfu to leverage the nine and the Akadora. We do not have Dora, but we do have Akadora. But it's isolated. So we would have to draw into that. We do have a pair and we have a chi already and two potential chis. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. I would discard the red dragon right away. And then I would hope to draw in to fill in primarily the five crack because that is called Akadora, which is a red five. You get a Han for that if you build it into your winning hand. You gotta win though. You don't get anything if you don't win. So I would play Pin Fu here. If I drew in a lot of BAMs at the beginning, I might even sacrifice this nine dot and play one suit, Chinitsu. Chinitsu is one suit. That's a beautiful hand. So if you would do something different here, write it in the comment section. Just write random pull one and what you would do differently. But I think I would try for, again, Pinfu and Reach. If I drew in Bam, sacrifice the nine. But I'd throw the red away first. Oh man, that's hard. If I drew a Bam right away, I might, I think really, I would probably discard these two first right here. Keep the five in, clay, in case a chi potential came in. That way I can save the red and hopefully play Hanitsu because that's a significant number of bams. All right, let's move on to the next round and pull. South round and we're in seat three, so that would be west. Seven crack is Dora. No seven crack. We got five honors, five honors. Honors are wins and dragons, and they're all singles. We got Akadora. We've got lots of dots, including a pair. So this is how I would play this. 
I would shoot for Hanitsu and hope to draw in pairs here. We're west and it's south round. So this right here can bring score west. That's our seat wind. So I would draw in the dots. I would hold the Akajora for as long as possible. Get rid of these first. Shoot for Hanitsu, half flush, leveraging Dora, or not Dora, my seat wind, and then Akadora if I draw into it. Otherwise, I'd collect dots and go for Hanitsu. So if you would do something different with these tiles, let me know. We are back to East Round. This time we're going to be in seat seven, which is West again. Six crack is Dora. Pretty. This is pretty. A pair of red dragons. We've got one of each dragon. Red, white, and green dragon. South. And we have primarily cracks. I would go for a half flesh. Ooh, this is a Hanitsu series of random pulls. We have four discards to get to Hanitsu. And we have T potential, one, two, three blocks. So we would have to draw in pairs of honors or more cracks to make this work. But that's what I would do. If we got that six crack, I would really try hard to work that in as well. So it's nice to be in the suit that coincides with Dora. That way you can hope to draw Dora and work it in. So that's how I would play this. If you would do something different, let me know. So really this would be Hanitsu and Dragon Pwn. That would be my plan here. Hoping to draw Dora as well. If you would do something different for Random Pull 3, write that in the comment section. We're on to 4, back to South Round, and we're going to be in Seat 10, which is South. Three dot is Dora. One honor, that's good, because now we can focus on Pinfu. If your tiles are lined up correctly with a lot of cheap potential, that could be a pretty quick win. But we'll see. Let's look and see what we have. Okay, we do have a pair, which is nice because you got to have a pair. We have cheap potential there, five, seven. Now that is in closed weight, so that's a weak weight. We need to improve that if we can. We have a chi potential here, isolated. Here's a chi right here. And then we have isolated tiles here. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. So it's a bit of a weak start. We need to draw in more number tiles to fill in for these isolated tiles here. But I would start by discarding the north. Play pin Fu and reach. Reachy. It's pronounced reachy. I thought it was reach, but it's reachy. And uh, we do have a five dot. I mean, that's too far from two, three dot. Well, we could do three, four, five, but we'd have to draw in a three dot and a four dot. So uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that may or may not be helpful there, but we could use it here for a chi. So yeah, pin Fu and reach. No Dora this time. If you would do something differently here, write it in the comment section. You know what I was thinking? There's also a chance of an outside hand. Outside hand 
or terminals in all, Junshan, Junshan Taiyai, something like that, Junshan. We'll just call it Junshan. I don't know how you pronounce some of these things, but that's how I would pronounce that, Junshan. Terminals in all. We have a one, there's a nine, a nine, and an eight. So we could maybe use this. If you have a one or a nine in every set, that's called terminals in all, and that's a yaku. But I think we're in between Junshan and Pinfu. I think it's stronger for Pinfu here because we can leverage that pair. All right, let me know what you think about that. Right, random pool four. I would love to hear your input. Back to East Round, random pull five. We're going to be in seat six, which is south again. Seven dot is Dora. Oh, I pushed out five, Akadora. <laughs> oh well. Here we go. Let's see what we have. No Dora, but we have a lot of BAMs. We have two offsuit tiles and a pair of West. That West is not going to bring us score if we pwn it, but it will help us get to a half flush. Oh, a nine dot. So we have three discards, which is not bad. If I can make a choice where I have six or four discards, I think that's a pretty good start. So we have three discards to get to Hanitsu. And look at that, we have a Kong, or Khan, K-A-N, Khan. But we have an isolated tile here. Here's a Chi and a Pwn. Five, six, seven, Pwn, Pwn. We have one, two, three, four blocks. So we definitely need to either pair up that south, which is good because that's our seat win. Um, but we'd need to pair that up to get another score there if we can. Otherwise, BAMs. Collect BAMs, get rid of the offsuits. That's how I would play this. If you would do something differently, write random pull five and what you would do with these tiles. And we are on south round, last random pull, seat seven, which is west. One crack is Dora. Whenever you pull a number tile that's a one, you just go, or a, a nine, you just go all the way back to the beginning of the sequence, which is one. So nine to one, one crack is Dora. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have a pone of white, uh, one dots. And you know what I would do? I would try to play Chanta. Chanta is where you have terminals or honors in every set. That's a bummer though, because we do have a five dot Akadora here and we have a pair of fours. So yeah, I don't know. Oh shoot, that's kind of conflicting, isn't it? Pair, Pwn, Akadora. Hmm, two honors, I take it back. I think I would try for Pinfu here. That way I could leverage Akadora and this pair. We could use this as a pair right here and then build in Chi potential. We could break that up into Chi's, maybe draw in two, three. So yeah, this is not so good. It looked good at the beginning, <laughs> but I don't think so. Or, you know, what we could do is go try for uh, Hanitsu Half Flesh, keep all these BAMs so that we could maybe leverage the pair here. So I think I would 
start out by trying to collect dots. We really don't need that north. Maybe discard the north. The thing is, honors help you get to a, a half flesh. Even though they won't bring you score, they can help you get to a half flesh. So I think what I would do is discard, depending on what I draw, of course, discard the nine crack first. Try to collect dots. Keep the bams for potential pinfu opportunities. That would allow us two picks to try to figure out what to do. Um, I think I would try to collect dots so I could leverage Akadora and this pwn. If you would do something different, differently here, write random pull six and what you would do with these. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight honors. We could play all honors and terminals, but that would leave one, two, three, four, five discards, including Akadora. I think I would want to leverage Akadora because that can bring you score. So yeah, I think I would, I think I would probably, maybe what we could do is discard these, sacrifice the pair and try for honors and terminals. All honors and terminals is called on a row two. On a row two, something like that. Yeah, this one would be interesting to play out because it's it's a bit of a mess. Would you sacrifice this pair? Write it in the comment section what you would do here. I need help. Oh my goodness. Some of these really put me at a crossroads and I just don't know where to go. That's why I like to do these for practice because it kind of takes the pressure off over time. You get desensitized from making those decisions. And when you play for real, you kind of can get your footing quicker, I think. That's for me anyway. If you have a set at home, give these a try and let me know if you find it helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss out on an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.